Hi, welcome to the Fairmat tutorial series. In this video, we show how Fairmat Academic can be used to model and solve capital budgeting problems, including contingent decisions. In particular, we will do this by presenting an investment decision in the pharmaceutical industry. The idea underlying the approach we propose is very simple. A capital budgeting problem can be decomposed into a set of simple decisions or options by properly describing the hierarchy among individual decisions. Just a few types of interdependencies are needed to solve many capital budgeting problems. These basic relations can be combined with one another to describe more complex real-life situations. To model this case, we assume that the following data are available for parameters and stochastic processes. See documentation for details. V is the present value of the cash flows, excluding the real options, assuming the project is implemented immediately. RF is the risk-free rate. Sigma is the volatility of the growth rate of V. I2 and I3 are the capital expenditures accounting the cost of clinical trials at years 2 and 3 respectively. S is the resale value of the asset. IE is the follow-on cost to add production capacity. E is the expansion rate of production capacity. We modelled the cash flow's stochastic dynamic as a geometric Brownian motion. In Fermat, this process is indicated with V1. We hence link base value and volatility to the constants defined previously. In capital budgeting, it is common to assume that the cost of capital return is constant. This means that the risk premium and the discount rate are constant. However, under risk-neutral valuation, only the risk-free rate is relevant. Therefore, we insert RF in the relevant field. Create the problem structure about the base case as shown in the option map. In this option map, Block second stage is a payment at year zero for the second stage of clinical trials. Block third stage is a payment at year three for the third stage of clinical trials. Block launch product one represents the stochastic payoff given from the new product at year five. As you can see, it is a function of V1. Block option B, expanded productive capacity, is the payoff of the option to increase the production capacity at year 6. It is important to insert the time of the payment in the window maturity. To evaluate the project, run analysis and valuation. The results are then displayed in the bottom panel or the valuation tab. You can also evaluate the value of a part of the project by selecting the starting node in the main menu, or by left-clicking on the subtree. Now assume the company has the opportunity to either expand the operations or to abandon the current business. In this scheme, the option to abandon can be exercised only before the first step of expansion is exercised. This problem includes the selection of the best option and the compound option case. In Fairmat, you can create different scenarios related to a specific base case by changing the type of options, for example from committed to European. In our case, we are interested in showing the difference in value between a committed decision and a real option. Open Manage Scenarios and create a new scenario. Insert a name, a description 
and a pre-existing base case from which you want to deviate. At the end, select the new scenario in the main menu. We want to evaluate the option to abandon the project contingent on the way the value of the project itself will evolve in the future, as opposed to deciding right now the best course of action. The OR operator allows us to do this. So, after including the operator in the option map, we add the two branches, one in which we go on with the plan described above, the other in which we abandon. The OR operator at every point in time will take the best of the two branches. In the abandonment option, we include the resale value of the project in case it is abandoned at year three. At year six, we have the opportunity to exercise an expansion option, hence changing the option block from the custom or committed option to standard European option. If you select the base case scenario, you can see that the block option B, expand to productive capacity, changes from custom option, shown in purple, to the European option, in green. You must disable the abandoned block because this option does not exist in the base case. To compare the values in the two scenarios, run the scenario or what-if analysis. You will obtain the two cases, expanded NPV or ENPV. Double-click on Solution. The two figures represent the expected value and the probability distribution of the two cases. In the first figure we see that the real options value is greater than the base case value. In the second figure we notice real options distribution is positive and base case can have negative values across the simulated paths. Now we show how to perform a sensitivity analysis. We are interested in evaluating how the project value depends on market volatility changes. To do that, edit Sigma, check the sensitivity flag, and choose a range to do it in. Sensitivity analysis is the study of how the changes in the output of a mathematical model can be apportioned, qualitatively or quantitatively, to different sources of variation in the input or inputs of the model. Now show how to perform an impact analysis which is the impact on the project value for a specified variation of the input's parameters. We can calculate it for all the parameters. To do that, select impact flag in the variables. The figure plots the gap in the contract value caused by an increase or decrease in the input value. The black vertical bar is the expected value of the contract, a benchmark value. Input variables are ordered by decreasing value of impact. Remember that Fairmat Academic is free. 
To download it, just go to fairmat.com and sign up. Bye for now.